YouTube, today is the freaking day. This has been the World Series run from heck. Usually World Series ain't this challenging, at least for me, for some others it is, and that's totally okay. You will get better, I know you can, but for me, this World Series run has been a friggin' roller coaster. So today, we're putting an end to the roller coaster. The ride is closed for repairs, because we are rated 895, we have Collection Reward Hall of Fame Series, Randy Johnson on the Bibbity Bump for the very first time, and I'm gonna make World Series in what's going to be my last video for the next month. You guys will see me again November 4th. Put it on your calendars. So yeah, long-winded intro. Here's the video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am KDJTV, and I'm only the show content creator. And as I said, yes, I am taking a little month break. However, I upload every other week, three times a week. So Subscribe and hold off till the next video, but either way, Randy freaking Johnson is here. What did I do to get Randy? I spent every last stub I have. Look at that, 182 stubs left. I wanted him expressly for this video, expressly for this World Series run. I have had such a frustrating time getting over the hump. Have I been clutch? Probably not. Either way, I think Randy Johnson is going to help. What do we need to say about him? He's Randy friggin' Johnson. His control in BB per 9 is better than I thought it would be. Velo and Breaker insane. K per 9 max. Stamina hit per 9 are phenomenal. Look at the Velos above me. He, of course, has Outlier 1 and Break Outlier. In terms of his controls, wowie. In terms of his pitch breaks, wowie. Other than the two-seamer, we're going to use that as kind of a change of pace, a rollover type of pitch. But yeah, this is the guy on the mound. We have a pretty rested bullpen outside of Jose Trevino and the lineup for this gosh dang World Series video. Tim Raines, Chipper Jones, Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, Jorge Pozada, Paul O'Neill, a king. He's DHing and hitting 500 all on ranked. Ernie Banks, Shohei Otani, who in my first game with him went four for five with three homers. That's pretty freaking good. And Bernie Williams. Let's get it done. We are 89 and 17. Win number 90 on deck, hopefully. And again, we are rated 895. As you can see above my head, I got 899 last week. Immediately lost. Went back down to like 870 something. And then won the next game. And now we're at 895. So the curse ends today. I hope. We are locked in. We've never been more locked in. We're ready for this moment. Our opponent is the San Francisco Biscuits, Todd Helton. We are on the road. Oh, no. And today's instant classic will, of course, be at Shield Woods, because why wouldn't it be at Shield Woods? All right. Well, what's our opponent's record? Let's see. A thousand rated player. Oh, no. What we need is at least to make a statement early on, chat. We need to make sure our opponent knows we're not complete crap, and we might be. It's Legend. I haven't played Legend in months. Two and two. I'd love if Chipper... Put himself on the map here. It's three and two now. We're taking close pitches. On Legend, my only advice, take close pitches. That's a, hey, we got a hit. We're not getting no hit today, chaps. That's a single for Chipper. Was it well struck? Not particularly, but it found a hole. Babe, get down. Of course it's a line out. This game, I mean, huh, not a bad swing. A lefty matchup for Hank is going to feed families, I hope. I would love if Hank just went crazy right now. And never mind. Well, what a pitch. What a dot. Somehow I'm early on Legend. Uh, we'll get the timing down, I suppose. So because this is a hybrid World Series gameplay slash how to pitch with, you're going to see every pitch I throw at Randy. So we're going to start with a slider because I don't want my opponent to just be sitting fastball all the time. I think he inevitably will be, but I want to throw my other pitches for strikes. That's a dot. Righty batters are not going to love the two-seamer away if they're geared up for the four-seamer. Strike three. That was perfectly, brilliantly executed. Normally, I'm searching for weak contact on that, but I will not complain about a strikeout. Why would I? Let's go slurve now. We're throwing the kitchen sink. We are showcasing everything we got. We'll throw our first fastball here. Behind it. Why? Because I've been mixing in the other stuff. And Xavier Edwards is on the shorter side, so let's throw one up. There you go. Xavier Edwards, by the way, very interesting pick for a wild card. I'm not hating on it. It's just something I haven't really seen. So Hank generally doesn't turn on stuff, but I also think that means people are sitting inside. But look at that. Our opponent, 1,000 rated player, up here swinging at just about everything I'm throwing. 
Splitter, below the zone would be nice. It was in the zone, but it was a perfect, perfect line. Ooh. That is tough for my opponent. Tough cookies. Well, it's scoreless. Paul? Paul? I think Paul got it. Paul O'Neill! Lefty, lefty! Look at that swing on Legend. Cut her away. Lefty, lefty. It's a shield wood homer. But my opponent picked the park. I did not. One nothing. Shohei. Ew! Ew! Ew, yucky! All right, that's... That is definitely not deserved. I, I hate that that happened, but I'm going to take a single. Yeah, brush your shoulder. Bernie, ew, oh my god, what is this game? What is happening? Ew, I'm so sorry, Mystic underscore Savola. I hate myself. Nope, I struck out. I'm a piece of shit. So we got a run, and we got some foot traffic on the bases. That makes me feel just marginally better. But now it's back to pitching. And to lefties, we're going to use this wipeout slider. It's got breakout liar. He's very late on that, so that leads me to believe that this fastball away should also result in a very late swing. Nope, he was a little more geared up for that. And that's still very late, I guess. What do we want to do? The slurve starts roughly in the same plane as the slider, but goes down instead of out. Goodbye! Strikeout! Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson on legend, doing things. Two seamer away, just to show him something different. Faded out there. That was too far outside. I actually think that pitch is probably more effective when it's a little lower. But we'll go four seamer now for the strike. That missed its spot too. Luckily, he was late. I'm going to test the fastball in. I'm afraid to do this all the time, but it's worth a test. Oh my god. This Tommy Edmund rakes against lefties, by the way. Such a weird, good card. But splitter below the zone, hopefully he's early. Oh, oh, little, little one of these. Did not go. That's fine. Back foot slider, you guessed it, for the boys. Wipe out. Okay. This is what I was semi-worried about, is my opponent suddenly no longer swinging at pitches. Splitter, be early. Thank you. Good pitch. That's the same spot that fastball was coming in when I threw that inside fastball. Dropped off the table. Was a lot slower. Effectively his change up. But it just has more downward break. Fastball, up and away up-ish and away no now we fade the two seamer off of it he's very late on that too i'm perplexed no uh do we just swing good morning good afternoon good night fastball high not nah, too high too high too high bad pitch <sighs> i think the slurve will get him i don't want to throw the splitter in the same spot again eventually that's going to be sit on two, two. but that was a good take because it was a bad pitch can we spot this though love to do that Goodbye. It was a spot. It missed its spot, but it was still a spot. A dot. Goodbye. Now is the point in which we add to this small little lead. I struck that well. Straight into the turf. That's a first pitch out, which I don't like because I had been taking patient at bats. But I was looking for that pitch. I tried to hit it, and I missed. Hank, I missed the pitch again. Man, that's a good pitch. Todd Helton is good. You guys saw him when I used him. His sinker moves a ton. Still one nothing. Shout out to my opponent for being a knower and using George Brett, by the way. I haven't seen George Brett in a minute because everybody uses Chipper. And while I'm also using Chipper, I do love me some George Brett. Big fan of George Brett. Let's see if George Brett's ready for the four-seamer in. No slam zone. Strike. Okay. I am sensing a more patient approach this inning. Splitter in the zone. Okay, good pitch. This is going to be telling what I'm about to throw. This is called an upstairs slider that I pucker my butthole for, but it might be beautiful. Okay, it missed because my pinpoint down was bad. It faded across the zone. I'm trying to plant that up and in because that's a pitch people take or swing super late on because they're shocked it's coming in the zone. 102 just late. Okay. Splitter. Low. Pound it into the ground. That's a swing. Has to be, Bob. Has to be. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. One out. One out. Love that. Um, my opponent is eventually going to figure this out. I have complete and utter faith that this perfection will not last. And I'm not saying perfect game. I'm not expecting a perfect game. But we've been pretty damn good so far. Splitter away. Let's see. Roll it over. Man. Randy Johnson, for some reason, I'm not very good at his pinpoint motion on the way down. I don't know why. Oh, jam job. Hank Aaron's going to get there, please. Two outs. That was a nice easy out. Uh, I got to work on his motion down. I don't know why that's such a difficult thing for me to figure out. 
Paul O'Neill, my guy's hitting 514. Holy Christ. Another knower. We appreciate knowers. Two seamer, jam him. Good pitch, good spot. Slurve, please don't hang. Please get slightly out of the zone. Oh, it hung. It was such a change of pace that it worked. I mean, this is this is the life I live, where I just live on the edge. I live dangerously. Now let's plant the slider. There it is. That's the exact swing I wanted against George Brett. What a perfect example of that pitch. one nothing after three. Three and two. Come on, Jorge. Let's make it happen. Lead off base runner. What a pitch. What a 3-2 changeup. It was a ball, but barely, and I smashed it, and we're out. Well, we're severely lacking in the run production department, but we have made Todd Helton throw like 63 pitches through four, and your boy's going to sign up for that just about every single game if he can. So we like that. Let's see if we can throw Bernie inside. He's still late on it. Man, he's still very late on it, and I'm going to double up on it knowing that this is dangerous. Inside. Good take. Wow. Splitter. This could speed his bat up, but I'm hoping he's really in front of it. Yep. That was a good timing swing. Okay, so that means he was probably under it, is my guess. Back foot slider, but just miss. Good pitch. Absolutely. Bob got him. Oh! That's actually Bill, not Bob. My apologies to the family of Bob. Let's see if we can plant a two-seamer. Strike looking. Oh, he got it! Show it! Oh, I shouldn't have dove. I shouldn't have dove. I shouldn't have dove, but thankfully it's a short fence. It's only going to be a double. But why give me the you-can-try-to-dive indicator if it's not possible? Whatever. First hit allowed. It was a weak one. He swung at ball four. Let's make sure it stops here. Slyer. Way in front of that. Way in front. He should be way in front of this as well. Yep. We tagged Bernie. We tagged Bernie. We got the lead runner. Nice job by Ernie Banks. He tried to do some trickery. I held my breath as that was going on. But we got him. He was way early on the two-seamer. Splitter below the zone would be great. He keeps biting. I think Xavier Edwards might try and run. Okay, he tried to go for that one too. Two-seamer away. Okay, what was that swing? Good timing. I think, I think he's under it. I think he's slamming. Okay, he's on that one, though. So two and two. I am going to challenge him. This is dangerous. I'm doing it. I don't care. Up and in. Fastball. He hit the hell out of it. Not really. It's a lazy fly out to Bernie. So two away. We can escape a inning opening oopsie doodle with one more good at bat. And it's a lefty. And that makes me very happy. <sighs> what are we doing to show? Hey, let's start with a slurve. Slow him. Oh, God. Uh, oops. 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 I hung it. I mean, that was... I don't even know what happened at that pitch. That was obviously entirely pinpoint related. I did not want that pitch there. And I'm not saying pinpoint bugged out. I'm saying I didn't do the pinpoint right. So now we have a hole to, to come out of after we were dicing our opponent up for three innings. And at least, thankfully, the oopsie doodle didn't really, like, lead to that. So that's something we could positively take from this experience um the slurve we gotta be really careful with i don't know why i'm so bad with randy pinpoint two, two and two just above the zone tommy edmonds kind of small geared up for the fastball it all adds up come on bernie get on your horse bernie get on your horse bernie all right so we're down two one it could be a lot worse he's starting to read randy though i think randy's got one maybe two more innings we'll cut him out get someone new in there at least we're fighting I mean, at least we're fighting. Legend is not fun. Shield is not fun. But Shield has not really come into effect thus far. At least too much. Oh, I was just under it. That was a bomb. I'm sorry, Bernie. Two outs. Just missed it, man. Well, a bad offensive inning. And honestly, there's nothing we can do about it. Sometimes we're going to have those. Especially on Legend. What the hell kind of swing was that? Let's put a slider right here. Please do not hang over the middle wasn't ready for it i suppose i'm gonna throw the very weird up and in slider just plant it bad pitch bad pi i mean once you mess up a little part of this pinpoint or randy johnson the ball goes wherever it chooses to go i'm gonna go back to the slurve i'm gonna trust it again i'm ready to be hurt though good pitch all right we're back we're back with the slurve don't throw it high you idiot throw it low look what happens when you throw it low slider away he might be ready for the oh god here we go I think I'm just going way too slow with it. I need to need to speed up. 
Randy kind of lulls you to sleep with his slow little delivery. Explode. Okay, right, right down the middle. I'm hoping this is a called strike three. At worst, it's a weird grounder. Okay, or he uh, swung beautifully. That was an excellent piece of hitting. I have no comments. Just a great job. He hit my pitch. I think it was off the plate, too. So now we got to turn it, too. Yeah, it was just off the plate. Good swing. Nothing you could do. Split. Okay, he's early on that. So I need to stop throwing first pitch splits to righties is what I'm learning. Maybe we'll roll over this two-seamer. Oh, my God, we did. Craig Biggio's fast. Let's hustle. Double play. I'm a genius. Two-seamer away. It works to righties. Throw it. There we go. Oh, my God. That was loud. Babe has gotten a lot of first pitch sinkers. It was time to sit on it, and he let it hang in the no-no zone. We're tied. Two to two. Feels better now. We begin our quest in the sixth inning with a two-seamer inside. In all likelihood, even though we only have 63 pitches, I think this is going to be Randy's last go-through. Sorry, I'm burping a little bit here. Um, I think my opponent is starting to pick up what I'm doing. And I think it's good to give a fresh look. That looks like a swing to me. Nope. All right. One and two. Um, we'll see, of course, how this inning goes. I'll see what the matchup is coming back around. Because I don't want to overextend in a game against a good player at Shield Woods of all places. Because once you're in yellow energy and you hang one thing, it's 7,000 feet into the night sky. So we're just trying to be cognizant of that. But 66 pitches. One out in the sixth. Six is everywhere. Splitter away. No bite. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do four-seamer away now. Haven't proven to me yet that you can pull that. Right down the middle. Oh, and he went with it, though. That's a good swing. All right. So we're going to be careful with the four-seamer away from here on out. He got the single with it, or on it, with George Brett, and he went with that quite well. So we're learning. It's fine. Xavier Edwards, slider in to start. I don't know what really he's capable of, but we shall see, I suppose. Strike one. Love that. Splitter, please below the zone. I don't want it in the zone again. Very good. Chase me, Papa. Chase me. Chase me, Papa. Oh, he did, but he got a piece of it. Okay. Inside, inside, inside. It must be at the pee-pee tip. He got it again. Mm, good pitch. Good pitch. Two-seamer away. This is where we fade it out. Pitch number 73. a pitch. So good of a pitch, in fact, that I would argue it should have been strike three looking. Splitter away. Good pitch. Randy threw six. 75 pitches or something like that? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Manny Machado is now in the game as a pitcher. We gotta be patient and see what he does. I wanna learn his tendencies. He started with a sinker in. He went two moving balls away. What the fuck's a moving ball? I don't know. Sinker in. We smashed it. Base hit. Lead off single. Ernie Banks. Ah, man, the slurve. The slurve is good. That's man, uh, Manny's best pitch, I think, because I throw it when I use him. Unfortunate. Come on, Bernie. Let's do it, buddy. Bernie! You can't hang that slurve. As good as the slurve is, you can't put it there. 4-2. Good, guys. It's far from over. It's the first multi-run lead of the game, though, and I feel good. World Series, we did it! Why? You're a thousand rated player in Shield! Why? Well, you saw how well we just played that game. Legend expert here. 923, this way, 923 rating! So, moral of the story, Randy is really friggin' good. Eight strikeouts, six innings, he let up two runs. He's great. Just collect your 120 cards, because they changed the collection amounts, put him in your rotation. You can now use him for the rest of eternity, because season four has no restrictions. Have a blast! So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for this video, and that will do it for KDJ TV for a month. November 4th is my comeback. We're coming back with a 10-minute mailbag. For those who don't know, it's not a huge um, issue. I'm taking the month off. I'm getting married in literally, like, 17 days at time of recording. Going on my honeymoon at the end of the month, and I kind of just need a little bit of time to reset. And I'm excited for it, and I'm excited to come back fresh and married, evidently. So, uh, thank you guys for understanding. Thank you guys for the support. I'm active on Twitter during this little hiatus. I'm active in Discord. Make sure you, you know, follow the Discord or join the Discord. It's in the description. My Twitter, uh, xelon.com account, also in the description. Join it everywhere. I'm still here for you guys. Uh, but either way, I appreciate you all. Love you all. Go get Randy Johnson. And I'll see you next time.